Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now in October of 2011, AMD launched the first 8-core processors under the bulldozer family name. Since then there has been a bit of controversy regarding whether or not these actually were true octa-core CPUs and today we're looking at the cheapest amongst the very first lineup, the 8120, which cost around $205 or £170. These days you can find one for just under 100 in both currencies and they actually seem quite rare. Despite being 5 years old, they've held value quite well. Now, back to that controversy that surrounded these chips. To put it simply, whilst the 8120 does have 8 cores, each one shares resources with another. The CPU basically has 4 modules, each containing 2 cores and shared resources. It gets very complicated, but these are still considered 8 core processors. All I know is that when it comes to multitasking and rendering, this thing was pretty fast, even today. Sorry for the slight spoiler. So let's get back into it. We want to see if the very first 8 core processor is still worth a purchase, so we're going to be pairing it with a GTX 760. This is a GPU that can be found for a pretty decent price these days and sits well with this FX. Anything more powerful and you'd likely see a bit more of a bottleneck. So let's take it to a few games. Battlefield 1 first with the medium settings preset at 1080p and we saw a smooth 65 FPS on average. As you can see the FX 8120 is holding its own fairly well with this game. The extra cores definitely help out here. So Fallout 4 next with the high settings to achieve 55 FPS most of the time. Again quite an impressive figure in my opinion. And Fallout 4 is known to suffer from stuttering with many systems, so as always you should expect a little bit of that regardless, but it's nice to see that these two components make quite a good pairing. The FX seems to be keeping up so far. Next up it's Far Cry 4 with the ultra settings here at Full HD once again, and the game sits around 38 frames per second. Whilst I do believe the optimization isn't all that great here, it does do better when the settings are turned down just a little, however it's still more than playable. There isn't really any slowdown to speak of either, and no matter what we threw at this setup, it seemed to hold up just fine, and I think the FX 8120 played its part nicely. Sure, it's not the best and it was significantly improved upon when the 8300 series came out, but if you can get your hands on one of these at a decent price, the 70 to 80 sort of point, then it's still pretty good. What's also nice is that it runs on the AM3 Plus socket, so if you found one of these cheap, or even have one in your system today, then you've got a pretty decent upgrade path as well. I should also mention that I rendered this exact video with this processor and setup and it completed just shy of 7 minutes, which was very impressive. So guys, thank you for taking a look back today at the 8120 which has just passed 5 years old. I know this video was a little bit shorter than usual, but to be honest I couldn't really say much more about this chip, I just found the whole concept of the controversy surrounding it and the fact that it was the first 8 core CPU quite interesting. And as soon as I fired it up in the system I found that it was still quite capable and I didn't really want to go over and over the points, I just wanted to show you what a pretty decent CPU this still is and I don't think I feature AMD enough on this channel. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video as always. Click like if you did, click dislike if you didn't, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, and hopefully I'll see all of you in the next one.